Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve few numericals based on geology. So let us begin with our very first question. So our first question here says on a flat topography the outcrop width of a bed is 30 meters. So we have been given the outcrop width. Now the true dip of the bed is 30 degree. Okay, so we have been also given the angle of the true dip. Now the actual thickness of the bed in meters is. So we need to find the actual thickness of the bed. So we have a general formula for the thickness of the bed that is thickness of the bed is required. So the general formula for this is equal to width into sine theta theta and the width here is the outcrop width of the bed and the theta the sine theta the angle of the sine will be the angle of the dip of the bed so here we will write the width will be 30 meters that is 30 and it will be sine 30 degree so sine 30 degree as you know we have okay so this is yeah, so sine 30 degree as we know is 1 by 2 that is half so it will be 13 to half which is equal to 15 so basically 15 is the actual thickness of the bed in meters because we had 30 also in meters you can check here so the answer is 15 meters so let's check the options so in options you can see option number b matches with our answer hence option b is the correct answer to this question so let's move on to the next question that is question number two here so question 2 says two outcrops on a 1 is to 25,000 map are 12 cm apart. The ground distance between the two outcrops is. Okay, so on a map two outcrops are 12 cm apart and their ratio to the actual distance is 1 is to 25,000. So here we have 1 is to 25,000. So we can assume that 1 cm on the map represents 25,000 cm on the actual distance. So from this we can say that 12 cm, here we have 12 cm will represent 12 into 25,000 cm on the actual distance. But here you can see we need to find the answer in kilometers. So what we need to do is divide this by 1000 so that we can convert this in kilometer our answer is this one because 12 kilometer on the map says 12 into 25,000 centimeters on the ground so here we have centimeters so this can be written as 25 into 12 into 25,000 divided by 1000 to convert this into kilometers so here this gets cancelled out we are left with 25 into 12 so Okay, so this will not be divided by 1000 but we need to divide this again by 100 because from kilometers to meters we need to multiply 1000 and from meters to centimeter we need again to multiply 100. So from coming this side we need to divide by 100 as well as we need to divide by uh, 1000. So here you can see we have divided by uh, 1000 and 100. So this will give us 300 by 100 kilometers which says it is 3 kilometers so our answer is 3 kilometers that is if a distance between two outcrops is 12 centimeter on the map then if the map is 1 is to 25,000 of ratio then the distance actual distance between the two crops will be 3 kilometers so you can see option number a says the correct answer that is 3 kilometers so let's move on to the next question that is question number 3 so here is our question number three so this is question three question three says the rf of a geological map preferred on a scale of two is centimeters is equal to one kilometer is so here we have been given the ratio the rf we need to okay so we need to find the ratio that is rf so basically what we need to do is what distance on the map represents what distance on the actual ground so this these are the basically the options and here we have been given that 2 centimeter on the map 
shows 1 kilometer on the actual ground. So we need to find the ratio. So let us convert these in easier format. So here we have 2 kilometers is equal 2 centimeter equal to 1 kilometer. So we can represent this in any format whether kilometer, centimeter or meters. So let us give this in centimeter only which is the shortest between 3. So 2 centimeters is equal to 1 kilometer which means 1 into 1000 meters into 100 centimeters. So here we have 2 kilometers is equal to 1 lakh centimeters. So we can divide it by 2. So we get 1 centimeter is equal to this will be 5 and 4 zeros which is 50,000 centimeters. So 1 centimeter on map represents 50,000 cent 50, centimeters on the actual ground. So the ratio is 1 is to 50,000. So this is the answer that is the RF of the ground and the map. So answer is 1 is to 50,000. Now you need to check the options very carefully because three options represent 1 is to 5 and few zeros, 1 is to 5 and few zeros and again 1 is to 5 and 3 zeros. So you need to check the options very minutely and check which one of these three are uh, 50,000. So you can see this option A has four zeros which means 50,000 hence option A is the correct answer to this question. So we have completed few questions in this video. You will find some more questions based on geology in our further